Hey right, guys, welcome back. Half fast 719. Got a package coming today from the UPS. And I'm hoping to get a package from FedEx. Um, uh, the FedEx package is a uh, something I've been wanting. I wanted to do on my other truck, but I don't know why I never did it. It's only like 15 20 bucks but it's the uh hydraulic it's a hydraulic uh tailgate assist thing um buddy Glenwood wood out in Illinois um I know what city he's from but I'm not gonna say it but anyway he uh put put one or put two on a uh, Ford F three fifty um, I think putting uh, two is excessive, um, not to mention the bed wants to kick out. But anyway, they uh, they did some some ingenuity engineering um, to stop that. I think they used a hose clamp or something to keep the bed from lifting out. Um, I'm just using the one, um, just the one, which goes I think on the driver's side. And it'll just assist the bed, the uh, tailgate, from coming down. So instead, of, instead of slamming down, it'll float down. Um, wanted to do one, I don't even know, when I first got that truck. Um, I even wanted to try to do some on uh, <clears throat> uh, on my blue second gen. But anyway, so 16 bucks. I think, I think it's 16 bucks is what I paid for it. Because I had some eBay bucks, so I had to buy a swamp cooler switch for the house. Because the one we put in there, I don't know, it didn't have any clicks. It would just spin. So something happened to it over summer. I don't, I don't know how that worked. Um, but yeah, it lost its little click, click, click. It's click, 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 click. So now it just, or it just was like spinning. So I bought one of those, and I bought a. I bought uh, the little lift because I had like 40 bucks in eBay bucks. So, and uh, it's going to be pretty dark, but anyway, lighten you guys up. So, this truck guy, oh, I got to get in here. So, he put a, let me figure out how to do this. Okay, this one. So, you can even see it might be dark in it. Yeah, anyway, there's a speaker box back in here. Man, I might have to pull the truck out. Um, anyway, there's a uh, speaker box back in here, right here, and then there's uh, nothing here. You know what? I'll be back. Let me pull the truck out. Let me pull it out. Cold start. A really, really cold start. See? See? Super cold. 76 degrees. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully, I'll have my little tractor over there shouldn't <clears throat> um anyway I get it uh I'll go about whatever I don't care we'll go right here all right killer killer all right so let's see if we can even see now okay so back here we can see now so he's got this speaker box, Chingus, right here. This guy put this speaker box in here, and I'm assuming he put the speaker box in here for sound, obviously. Um, but it has supposed to have this little compartment that goes back here, all the way back, like this. So it's the one piece of the truck I've been missing, and you can see, still has the the nuts. That's cool. 
because I thought I was going to have to find some bolt. I thought they were bolts, but it turns out they're nuts. So, anyway, I got that coming today. Um, pretty excited about that. I'll tell you how that whole deal worked out real quick. So I was on uh, on the eBay, I don't even know, three months ago. And I offered the guy a hundred bucks. He wanted one forty three with free shipping. And I offered him a hundred bucks, obviously. And he rejected the offer and did one thirty one thirty five or one thirty nine. And I sent him a counter offer of one twenty. And he sent me a counter offer of one thirty or one twenty five. And uh I I denied the counter offer, rejected it, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, so he, uh, messaged me and he's like, hey, um, do you, are you still willing to pay 120, I think? Are you still willing to pay 120 for this? Blah, 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 blah. And I said, no, I don't really have, I don't really have the money, but if, uh, because the whole septic leech line thing had happened. And, uh, I said, I don't really have the money. Um, I said, but um, if you'll do a hundred bucks, I'll buy it. And he goes, all right, a hundred bucks. So I got it for a hundred bucks. That, that back storage compartment from Dodge, brand new. I think it's like 359 or 369. Um, and he actually, it actually says it was taken out of a 2010 2500 Dodge, obviously Mega Cab, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if it was out of this truck. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I got that coming today, um, which I'm pretty excited to have because now when I have that, I'll probably have to take the speakers out. I'll see how they fit the subwoofers, and if they don't fit, then they're coming out because I don't really listen to loud music anyway or bumping music. So yeah, they might be coming out either for sale or maybe I'll sell them and make my money back for that little thing. And then uh, I might take this truck up with me because supposedly you can put a twin size air mattress in here. Um, and then uh, maybe I can sleep. And uh, yeah, go from there. I'll see. I'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, watch the next video. Next video is going to be about the uh, installing that and whether I'm ditching the subwoofers or not. And then uh, hopefully uh, I'll just make another video after that installing the uh, hydraulic bed assist. I know there's millions of videos out there, but maybe I do it a little different. I can't even wink. I'm so tired or whatever it's called. Alright guys. So that's it. That's what's coming up. Upcoming videos. It's two videos coming up for that. Um, kind of excited for that thing. I know I don't sound like it, but it's because I'm just wore out. Worked all day yesterday and then drove all night. So I've been up for 24 hours straight with work in the heat. So, alright guys. Thanks for watching. Comment. Subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Am I going to be ditching the subwoofers or am I going to be keeping them? Just comment below. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to be, I'm going to have to ditch them. But you guys let me know. All right, guys. Later.